Thanks for joining me today. Today I'm going to show you how to make a double milk carton box. So if you have the milk carton box for the Big Shot die from Stamping Up, it looks like this when you run it through. Now what I've done is I've cut the last area off of my milk carton box on two of them. So I've, I'm left with three panels instead of the four to make the box. So I've just cut that off. And as you can see, I've got two of these that I'm going to join together. So I've applied adhesive on all of my bottom tabs as well as my side tabs and what we're going to do is we'll start with um, attaching the two tabs together or the two pieces so now you can see that I've got six flaps right in a row and my milk carton box joins together. I'm going to decorate this just while it's down because it's a little bit easier to apply pressure to adhere it. So I've got some real red textured cardstock with a polka dot die and I'm going to put this one on this panel here. And then I just cut out a couple here for my side panels. And I could have just done a long strip of DSP or something, but I just wanted to make it look a little different. So I've got those panels covered, and all the dimensions are on my block should you need them. So that's the um, starting of my box. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to just fold this crease down. And I think you can start seeing how it's going to come together. I'm going to attach the small tab here to the front of my other box and you can see now here that I've got a double width milk carton box and now I'm just going to fold all my flaps down again they all have adhesive on them sorry about that and now on the bottom of my box you can see there's adhesive well what I did is I just took one of the panels that I'd cut off and made it into a three inch um, length for so I didn't have scrap and I'm just going to make one flat panel here so I don't have any seams and I got a nice secure hold just put some pressure on here and now like the milk carton box this is just going to fold in and I've got myself my tabs on my top how cute is that and um, what I'm going to do is I'll just use library clips here but you could use ribbon you can use adhesive I'm just going to use a couple of library clips to hold this shut of course I'll have to fill this up with the yummy treats and then on the front of my box I'm just going to attach, I've got a few of the punched out flowers and some circles with the, the um, corduroy red button and just a thank you greeting and this was inspired by my friend Anne's card that she made for me that I just loved so I thought hey I'll make that into a box, oops, you want to see that greeting attach that down and now I've got myself a quick and easy sweet little milk carton double box that I can fill with double the treats Hope you have a great day and I'll see you again soon.